This is WordPress Plugins A to Z. It's episode 327, and we've got plugins for short code tracking, 360 degree media, event management, recent purchase pop ups, product feeds, and an amazing set of WooCommerce tools. It's all coming up next on WordPress plugins A to Z. WordPress. It's the most popular content management and website solution on the internet. And with over 60,000 plugins to choose from, how do you separate the junk from the gems? Join John Overall and Marcus Couch for this weekly unrehearsed conversation about the latest and greatest in WordPress plugins. This is WordPress Plugins A to Z. Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be hiding out there on the globe today. Coming to you direct from the Brewery Overlook in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, I'm John Overall. And from the Beachside Bunker in Laguna Beach, California, I'm Marcus Couch. And of course, we have the usual great show for you here today. And right off the top, don't forget, you can get all the show notes over at WPPlugins, A to Z.com. And make sure you take a few minutes to subscribe to us over at Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and the iTunes Store, where you can also listen to the show and download it. And of course, check out our training videos, screencast, and watch us live on YouTube every Monday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. And uh, we've got a lot of great stuff up there on that channel, so go check it out. And for those of you joining us live, welcome to the show. And of course, don't forget you can follow us over on Twitter at WPPlugins, A to Z.com. That's right. And remember, when you go to our website, you can su subscribe to our newsletter. You'll get some news and event information about WordPress that you don't hear on the show. And we greatly appreciate that. So check it out. Absolutely. And with all of that, let's start diving into the meat potatoes of the show. Off we go. All right. Today, we've got our usual slew of six great plugins for you. And first up, I have a great plugin that was submitted to us. It was sent in by Jesse Taylor from planaby.com. And this plugin here is an events widget manager plugin using a third party service. It's a pretty decent app. It's an app designed for smartphones for people to check out events that might be located near them. And it seems to be a, well, a global sort of uh, app for events. The biggest problem I found with it is that it is a third party service. So you have to put your, your events up on their website and then you use their app to display the events over on your web, on your web page. All in all, it looks like a pretty great way to showcase your events and get them out to the world to maybe find more viewers or listeners or people to come to your shows or whatever. The advantage of it is that it's a phone app, helps spread the word. It looks to be pretty good. You might want to check it out. I will be having more about this plugin later in a separate show as I am doing an interview with the developer about it later on today. But at the moment, go check out Planaby and I give it a four dragon rating. Great. All right, John. Well, um, the next plugin I've got is called Sphere Manager. And we've all seen those amazing 360 degree videos and images where you get to look around, see what's all around. I, I After I reviewed this plugin, I actually got on Facebook and saw one right away. It was really strange. Um, you can now get this exact same effect native in WordPress. And Though it does seem to have a bit of a learning curve to it, Sphere Manager actually guides you through the process of adding your own 360 degree media file and allows you to add your own text within the media as you move around within the 360 degree image or video. It has a full backend editor that allows you to do all of this stuff internal within WordPress. So, John, I started to think about how this could be used, especially within the designer or developer community that we have a lot of listeners in. And it would be great for real estate agent sites, restaurant sites, or anywhere that you want to show a physical space and possibly make notes within that space. This is a really cool plugin. It allows you to do things that you can only do 
you know, typically in Facebook or in Twitter or things like that, except now you actually have an editor that you can suppress and, and supplant plant just different images uh, and text within that image. And it's really cool. I love it. It's called Sphere Manager, and I rated it a perfect five out of five. It does sound like a cool thing to do. And then looking at the uh, way it works, it uh, looks like it can add some yeah, very interesting I've never effects. Seen, I've never seen anything that actually allows you to put the text within that video itself. And this does it. No, that's definitely different. All right. Well, we want to let you know that this show is sponsored by the following people and or businesses. Currently sponsored by johnoverall.com, which of course is me, WordPress and web services. And for you, is it time to update your website, moving to a new host, or simply sorting out your long neglected plugins? Well, I can help you with all that and more. Just go over to johnoverall.com web services, where I can help sort out your WordPress web uh, WordPress website issues, problems from finding that perfect plugin to helping you move to a new hosting provider or even providing quality WordPress hosting. With 20 years experience and online and over eight years dedicated to just WordPress, John or I provide all of your web services needs from hosting to WordPress development and, and repairs. Check me out at, at uh, johnoverall.com. All right. And anybody listening to the show, we know that you love WordPress and why not write about something unique within WordPress? As you've probably heard on the show before, I'm now the WordPress editor for Smashing Magazine, one of the big web design resources online, and I'm looking for folks to write great articles about WordPress. You can get a lot of exposure to yourself and your work. Just go to marcuscouch.com slash smashing and watch the video that I put together that explains it all. There's a small form to fill out, and it has an autoresponder that replies back with all of the pertinent info right away. It's a great opportunity to contribute to the WordPress community, get exposure, and get paid a few hundred bucks for, for your effort as well. So visit marcuscouch.com slash smashing. There you go. It's a, definitely a great deal, folks, and there's some really great articles there, so you'll want to check out Smashing Magazine. Interesting, I've noted, is that in many of my searches lately for information, I'm starting to see Smashing Magazine articles show up. Ah, that's good. So That's good. Yeah, they get a lot of traffic. In fact, they get a lot more traffic than most all of the other WordPress sites that you probably visit combined. Yeah. They're, they're pretty incredible, so hopefully I can drive it back in terms of the WordPress exposure. Just need more recent articles and that'll help drive it right up there. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> All right. We got our next set of plugins up here for you. Uh, first one I've got here is called short codes in use. Now, if you're a word, if you've had your WordPress website up for any amount of time and you've did and you've changed plugins or changed themes, which generally happens every couple, three or four years or a couple years and plugins fall out of favor, bring in new ones. Well, many of those plugins and themes have their own short codes in them. And those short codes will build up in your site. And as you remove those themes or those plugins, well, those short codes are just dead text that starts to show up. The naked short codes as they're uh, as they're called we don't want to run around naked on your website cleaning them can be a chore and a half trying to remember where they were used what you used them for well this plug-in here short codes in use helps simplify that problem for you once you install it activate it what it does do for you is it uh, goes in and gives you a list of all the short codes it can find on your website for you and where they're located. So you can read through them and see which ones you're not actually using anymore. And then you can go in and manually clean them. There are ways to do automatic cleaning of them, but you'll want to be careful about the automatic cleaning because you could clean out ones that you're actually using. So you'll want to do a lot of manual. Unfortunately, it's a manual process, but it's well worth it to get your Word WordPress website cleaned up. And this is a really great uh, plugin to uh, help you with that problem. So go check it out. Short codes in use. And I give it a four dragon rating. Yeah, that's very handy. Well, um, John, if you've seen any modern landing page lately, you've probably seen a pop up that displays to the customer something like John just purchased item X 90 minutes ago, right? Uh, it's usually on a landing page or a store or something else. Uh, it's making more and more prominence. Um, it not only puts peer pressure on you to buy, but it provides trust, engagement, and authenticity. So this plugin is called Sales Pop. And it is a comparison of something that I've seen before called Proof. 
And the problem is for the proof widget, this little social proof thing, you have to pay a pretty hefty monthly fee that's associated with it. And it's also capped in users and views on sites. I've been looking for something within WordPress that does just what proof does, but without that $79 a month fee that goes along with it and something that could actually be used within WordPress itself. So sales pop runs beautiful little slide in pop-ups to notify visitors of recently bought items. When visitors are aware that, Many other customers are buying from this brand. They'll be more confident in making first purchases with you. So what happens is this auto syncs with your store's sales data to generate real-time sales notifications of actual orders. Now, if you have a new store and you're just starting out, you can create fake notifications to promote any different items that you have as hot sellers. This plugin also has many different pop-up design options to match your store's look and feel. There are options to control how the notification pop-ups look and display within your site. And you can also add a direct URL link to the product within the pop-up so that the visitors that are interested can click right on that notification pop-up to view the details right in the product page. Very good plugin, brand new on the, on the shelf here. Uh, fewer than 10 active installs, one of them is me. <laughs> and I rated this one a perfect five out of five. Yeah, that's an excellent way to uh, help showcase your information and encourage people to buy. Because yeah. we're, we're all influenced by things we see or sort of a little bit of social proof to say, hey, we're not going to get ripped off when we're here. Right. All right. Well, that brings us to this next part. The show, this show is a value for value model, meaning if you get any value out of it, we request that you give some value back to the show. And in that vein, we would like to acknowledge those that have supported the show in the past week. All donations, $50 and over, are read out. Their, their note is published here with any links back to where they'd like them to go. And for those who come in below $50, they'll re remain anonymous. And we thank you very much. So this week here, we have $50 from Jezweb Pty Ltd, who has given us a donation on his, his note says, this donation is be on behalf of Business Wise First Aid Training at uh, bwfat.com.au, a Jezweb built WordPress website. That's actually a really cool website. They do some really good work over there. Yeah. All right. And a big thank you goes out to all of our donors who came in under $50. And we thank you very much for that. And for those of you who have set up the small weekly donations of two fifty, three bucks, and five bucks, we greatly appreciate those. Those help this show out quite a bit. They help defray the costs. Pretty much all the funds that we collect right now are going to pay for the services of the show, the hosting services, the bandwidth, the transcriptions, you know, all of the little incidentals that are required to just keep a website up and running. Yes, and we just this past month hit record downloads, so uh, by a lot. By we a smashed lot. our previous record. Yes. And we'd love to see all of you new folks that have just joined the show participate in helping to support the show. So just remember, you can go to wpplugins.com slash donate and donate to the show. We do appreciate it. And there's lots of donation options there to choose from. Or you can also support us over at Patreon.com at uh, Patreon.com slash WP plugins A to Z. Yes. Greatly appreciate your support. Okay. And that brings us to the final plugins of the show today. And the final one I've got here today, this is another one that was submitted to us by a developer. It came in from Omar Farik Samata Simanta. I'll have to get that one out from Rex Themes. And it's a WooCommerce plugin. It's called Best WooCommerce Product Feed. And I'll be found, I'll be discussing more about this plugin again in a separate show because I am interviewing this developer later today also. But at the moment, what I found out about the plugin, if you're running a WooCommerce store and are looking to enhance the feeds that are leaving your store for your products, this may be a plugin for you. 
It makes the task of creating those feeds that are tailored for specific merchants such as Google, Amazon, eBay, makes tailoring those feeds for them much easier. It allows you to include specific metadata into the feed, enhance your listings. You can also limit the feed to your best selling products or specific product lines. Numerous things you can do about that. With the free version of the plugin, because they do have a premium version, you can create a feed of up to 2,000 products. It's got unlimited feed creation for pro users. Um, um, the XML, it creates XML and text format feeds. Feeds are also accessible via HTTP or TP or S so that you can support the merchant easier and more. This is looks to be a pretty great plugin if you're running a WooCommerce store that has products and you're trying to get them into those, those areas of all the specific merchants out there. So check it out. It looks to be pretty decent at the moment and uh, it's called Best WooCommerce Product Feed and I gave it a four dragon rating. Very nice. Yes, those products actually, um, I've had some good experience with those in the past from Google Shopping back in the day, and they really work. Uh, when you can uh, get a full Amazon web store based on your WordPress backend feed, boy, that's pretty powerful. So check that out. Okay, I also have a WooCommerce plugin to close out the show. This is called Premise. P-R-E-M-M-E-R-C-E, -E -E, Premers, I guess you could say. Uh, Premers WooCommerce oh. Toolkit. We've got a, we've got a slight uh, delay, fee, uh, delay issue with uh, Google. Let's uh, give it a sec. All right, go ahead. Uh-oh. We actually lost you. All right, live feed. Let's pause. Twice as nice. I paused there. Okay, we're, we're, we're running the recording again now. Okay. All right. So this next plugin is also a WooCommerce plugin. It is called Premers WooCommerce Toolkit. And it is a complete set of add-ons and extensions developed for WooCommerce. It's developed to add some of the missing essential tools for your e-commerce business back to the basic version of WooCommerce. So what it allows you to do is things like adding a video to the product and displaying it in the photo field. Instead of the photo, you get a video. Uh, the option of adding descriptions to the shipping methods. And I was especially intrigued by cool things like catalog mode, which actually is a setting that converts your store into a catalog of products so that the user cannot make purchases but still see everything that's available to them. Uh, this is compatible with other plugins like WooCommerce, Boost SEO, and WooCommerce Multilingual. So it does a lot of the integrations of plugins that you probably already use. I rated this one a perfect 5 out of 5. Very cool. I like the catalog mode. And uh, yes. I might have built a website I did recently where I created a catalog. I might have chose WooCommerce if I could have turned it into a good quality catalog. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier. And then you can update it, and it updates the catalog. Yeah, that's actually quite nice. All right. Well, that covers up everything we've got here today. I covered up in this episode the plan Planaby Shows and Events widget, short codes in use, or Planaby Shows and Events widget, which I gave a three or a four to, short codes in use, which I gave a four to, and then best WooCommerce product feed, which I gave a four to. And I've got three of a kind here. Sphere Manager, which I gave a five to. Sales Pop also gets a five. And we just talked about Premers. WooCommerce Toolkit gets a five out of five. Very cool. All right. And uh, some reminders, commercials, promotions, whatever you want to call them. And uh, what we like to do is be sure to go check out the YouTube screencast, which goes up later after the uh, regular podcast goes up. So you can watch the add-on part that uh, has me doing a first impression of one of Marcus's plugins reviewed uh, from this show here or maybe a previous show, depends on the one he's got. Also, a note to developers who would like to support the show, if you want to offer up a premium license to give away, please go to wpplugins8z.com slash plugin contest and uh, fill in the information there and submit it and we will create a contest around it and help promote and support your plugin. That's premium versions. Now, also, don't forget, we have training videos up and more are on the way. They take a while to plan and train as I'm finding or plan and produce as I'm finding out. They're not as simple as they used to be. 
because I like to produce quality videos that people actually do use, and I get a lot of feedback on them, so people seem to enjoy them. So more will be coming, and uh, if you have suggestions for a plugin you'd like to have a training video on, send it to me. I'll be happy to look into it and see if it's one I'd like to do. Yes. And also one other last thing is having added some new encoding software to my uh, computer over the weekend and doing some experimentation with live broadcasts for YouTube and, and Facebook, you can start looking for some upcoming random live streams from me that will appear on our YouTube channel or our Facebook uh, page. And basically a lot of them will be breaking news in WordPress or ideas or thoughts that I might have or information that I think is really good to pass pass along to people. So that will be coming. That's an experiment that I'm going to be playing with and it's just going to be a separate and part from the show. So more and more stuff that's coming along. So make sure you come check it all out, folks. Great. And remember any WordPress news that comes about or interesting WordPress related posts, we do put that in our newsletter now and you can subscribe to the newsletter by visiting our site at wppluginsa-z.com. And that's all we've got for you now. Take care. Bye-bye. Reminders for the show. All the show notes can be found at wppluginsa-z.com. And while you're there, subscribe to the Thursday newsletter for more useful information directly to your email inbox. wppluginsa-z.com is a show that offers honest and unbiased reviews of plugins by developers because you support the show. Help keep the show honest and unbiased by going to wppluginsa-z.com slash donate and choose one of the weekly donation levels or make one that fits your budget. Help us make the show better for you by subscribing and reviewing to the show at Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and in the iTunes Store. You can also watch the show live on YouTube, check out the screencasts and training videos, and remember to subscribe to us on YouTube. Or follow the show on Twitter at WPPluginsA2Z. John can be reached through his website, www.johnoverall.com, or send him an email, john at wppro.ca. Marcus can also be reached through his website at marcuscouch.com or Twitter at Marcus Couch. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks for listening to the show. This show is copyrighted by johnoverall.com. So until next time, have yourselves a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be out there on the globe today. Okay, this is a segment of the show after the show where I do a add-on to the screencast where I test out one of the plugins Marcus uh, reviewed in this past episode. In this pa in this particular instance, I'm going to go after Sphere Manager and see how well it works and what it can do for us. And uh, let's uh, dive right into it. So off we go. Number one thing, of course, got to go find it, download it, install it, activate it, the usual, rigor and more. Here we go. Okay. And let's see what we get. Okay, well there's Sphere Manager there. Okay, load it up. Hmm, looks like we gotta create a scene. Okay. Label. Let's see what we get here. Label list. Description. Testing the sphere. Okay, new label. Edit preview. Title. And a new scene. Okay, we just created a new scene. Hey, if you if you scroll in and out with your mouse zoom, you can scroll in and out on the thing. Create a scene. Okay, so it creates a Bouncing scene there. Label list. Where is the labels at? Oh, they're over here. Text. Image. Select. Text. Type here. Type here. Over here on the left. Apply. New label. 
Nope, that didn't work. Color. Let's make it pretty green. Apply. Background. So I select the images. Oh, we need to select a background image. Let's see what we got in here. Hey, let's play with my cool new logo. Apply. Oh, wow. Oh, it takes your image and spherifies it. That's cool. All right. Oh, let's. Okay, let's save this and see what we get. I'm not sure how the labels are applied. Image, code. Yeah, it could be quite cool if you pick the right images, experiment with it, once you figure out different scenes. Edit. Edit this one. As we go in here, we hit the font. I'm not sure where the font appears at though. If we apply it, oh, select. Now apply it. No, it's not placing it anywhere that I can see. Nothing's being applied. Edit preview. Still nothing. Let's save. See what we get. We still don't have the fonts in there, the text in there. The text is still not on there. Label list. Okay, I'm missing something critical, but it looks like to be a pretty fun plugin. I'm not sure I would have gave it a five, but maybe Marcus figured it all out. Anyway, go check it out. Sphere Manager. Really interesting plugin for creating spherical shapes and other miscellaneous stuff. And uh, have fun. That's all we got for you now. Take care. Bye-bye. And for those of you that listen this far, there will not be a show next week as it is Canadian Thanksgiving and I am away. Okay. Have fun.